It's the stuff of science fiction, a cloak of invisibility. But is there something to it? CBS News science and technology correspondent Daniel Seberg unveils the latest developments. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. I left mine in my office, but I might get it in a little Your bit. Your cloaking device? Yeah, exactly. Did, you know, did you ever wonder what it would be like to have an invisibility cloak? Well, one day in the future, you may not have to wonder anymore. What you see on the big screen may become a reality. The cloak. Put the cloak on. It's a handy way for Harry Potter to avoid the dragons, and it often gave the Romulan ships an advantage over the Enterprise in Star Trek. But now researchers say they're an important step closer to taking invisibility from science fiction to science fact. To actually make something invisible, you need to bend light around it, uh, similar to water bending around a rock in a stream. Here's how scientists are weaving their magic. If you see a fish in the water, it seems to be a, a bit in front of his actual position. That's because when light moves from the water to air, it, it, it's bending. And it's bending in, in what we call a positive direction. Uh, and so in a negative index medium, which is what we've created, when light moves from this so-called metamaterial into air, it actually bends in the opposite direction. And so this is what causes these weird images, such as the fish being above the water. Except right now, only a dust particle could be disguised by that special material. You see, it's so small, it can only be seen with an electron microscope. Valentine says making it on a much larger scale is still at least 10 years away. But that hasn't stopped people from imagining what it would be like to own an invisibility cloak. You could get on planes and no one would know, and then you could get off and take it off and you'd be there. I could just sneak into movie theaters, watch whatever I want. I would go where the money is, wherever there's money that I can get. I'd be picking it up and taking it. Scientists around the world are pursuing invisibility with the main goal being the ultimate in covert operations for the military. The difference between stealth technology, like what's currently used in the B-2 bomber, and invisibility is that stealth is about blending an object in with the background. True invisibility could work on any background from any angle, sort of like Wonder Woman's invisible jet. So while science still lags behind Hollywood, we'll just have to see or not see what lies ahead. Here's what's troubling to me about this, Daniel, though, because if you have a cloak of invisibility, wouldn't you still be able to see a person's flesh? Who are you talking to? Not necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking to, <laughs> but I can snap my fingers and bring it back go. on oh, very just good. like that. Yeah. Um, you know, technically, you would have to have your whole body covered in it. So it would be right. kind of like being in this cloak wrapped in it that would cover up your flesh. Sure. But okay. yeah, it's uh, a little ways off. Well, when it comes out, you'll I'll let you know. not be here with us. You All right. right. Thanks very much, Daniel Seberg. <laughs>